Hello everyone, welcome again to my YouTube channel and thanks for clicking. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to become part of this growing audience. Please also like and share my videos. Thank you. At the request of some of you, my subscribers and my viewers, uh, you asked me to go to Firestone Plantation and just take a drive through the town and see how it looks like. So come with me and let's get started. I had gone to the Robert International Airport uh, to do some business there and I decided to take the drive from there. So I am now driving from the airport and going. On the right, as you will see, is the uh, Farmington Hotel on the right. So we are now just so you have an idea as to where I am. So from this point, and this is for my viewer, this is my Gibby County. So from this point, we are going out towards Firestone. So sit back and enjoy the drive. I just want to make an appeal to you, my subscribers. I'm still struggling yet, even though the uh, channel is uh, nearly three months old. And I just want to thank, thank you, first of all, for subscribing and supporting me by subscription and viewing my videos. I promise to always bring you interesting content. And what you want me to bring, please just let me know. I will do what I can. And so please just subscribe. I now have uh, I'm almost 4,000 viewers, uh, but yet I'm still my subscribe. My subscription remains uh, uh, 300 and a little over 300. So I'm begging you to please do so. So now on the left is the road that goes towards town, and now we are going towards uh, Firestone. This is the Farmington River. The Farmington River here. We are crossing over the Farmington River. Just so you know, there's a little uh, sneak peek of, of the river. So now we are going, once we cross this place, we'll be going to Habel. Habel City is where the, fire, the Firestone Plantation, uh, the Firestone Rubber Plantation is located. We are going today to see the homes of, uh, per your request, again from our audience, to see the homes of the Firestone Plantation workers. It is your judgment. It's not me to say if this is uh, good or not good. We just go ahead and see some of the homes there, uh, you know, uh, drive through the towns, and I leave that judgment with you, like I said. Let me give you a quick, brief history about this Firestone rubber plantation. Harvey Firestone was the one that established the Firestone Natural Rubber Plantation in this city called Habel, Liberia in 1926. From 1926 until the outbreak of the first Liberian Civil War in 1990, the Firestone Natural Rubber Company was the largest plantation of its kind in the world. The company here produces what is called the Ripped Smoke Sheet, RSS, and then exports the, an exporter to the United States to produce tires. This is just for your info so that you have an understanding of the importance of this establishment which has been around for many many years.
I would like to tell you about another Liberian YouTuber who, whom I admire uh, very well. And uh, she creates great content. Her name is Loretta Zeze. Please go to her channel and support her by subscribing and watching her videos. She has great content that will excite you, that will bring you information, and, you know, and, and, and above all, will entertain you. So thank you again for going to Loretta Zeze's channel and subscribing there. One of the things that surprised me is that the, is the fact that you know these roads are not paved, they are still dusty, and you know to my to me rather it, it, in my view is is it poses health hazards to the residents of this place that these roads are not paved, they are still dusty for 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 decades in and out. You know is is not to me is not okay. Uh, <clears throat> these roads should be paved. And you know, and place on the roads what librarians uh, refer to as quota, you know, where the 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 roads are paved, well paved, to eliminate the dust. That's what I'm saying, and I hope that appropriate authorities will take note of this. I know this has been here for many many years, so I don't even know if what I'm saying will make any difference. But again, enjoy the ride, and you know, look at the homes where the employees live. So again to you my 
viewers here I'm begging you to please subscribe to my channel like I, I you know said in at the beginning of this um, video I did appeal to you uh, to please subscribe share my video this is your way of supporting me you know it requires finances to be driving around and creating content or even you know going from place to place so the your best way you can support me uh, is to just you know subscribe to my channel uh, and hoping that I'll bring you content of interest and I will strive to do so so I'm just begging you to please subscribe to my channel share and inform others about it and I promise to bring you content that will you know enlighten you will entertain you and educate you thank you again for helping There is a part two to uh, this video. Uh, as you can see here, I'm now go heading towards the Habel market. Uh, you, my audience, have asked me to do so. So I went at the market, uh, spoke with people, the marketers there, and I spoke to a section of the market where women do their hair. So ladies, if you are visiting Liberia and you, want, and you know you visit Habel one day, uh, this is a video to watch. So that's coming up in part two of my visit to Haber, Magibi County. Okay, beside the butterfly twist, what else do you do and how much are the prices? Is the butterfly twist the cheapest or the highest? No, no, no. Like, we plug on for two dollars. We plug on all for fifteen dollars. Or what? Oh, oh, corner, oh, oh. oh um, yeah, like for the hair, like on my hair, apply for twenty dollars. For the lasso, tetri, apply me a glass scaler, hair scaler. Oh, so but I see some different different herbs here. Yeah, looks I like. I don't need pep. Eh, they want the flower soap. The flower 